Hello friends, I'm Allison and thank you so much for joining me for today's total body strength workout. We are going to need two dumbbells and I'd like you to pick something that's pretty heavy. We're gonna be doing some narrow squats, some bent over rows. We do have a side plank with the press, so if you need two sets of weights, go ahead and grab them. But I feel like for the most part, one medium to heavy or heavy set of weights that you can do eight to 10 repetitions with will be ideal, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna start just rolling our shoulders back and together. How are we feeling today? Good, I hope. Grateful that you're here joining me. Switch the direction. Beautiful. Now from here, I'm gonna have you actually spread your feet a little bit wider. You're gonna drop to the side. Allow that left shoulder, so I drop to the right. I'm allowing the left shoulder to come down. I'm reaching down towards my toes. I'm rotating around. Then I'm gonna start to come up. I'm gonna restack my right shoulder and up. We're gonna do that again. So I side bend, drop that left shoulder, coming down, coming around. Restack, come on up one more time. Down. And then we gotta switch direction. Opening the chest, restack. Now let's go to the left. So to the left. Shoulder comes around, beautiful. You're probably starting to feel a little opening in your side body, in your hamstrings. Beautiful. One more time. Awesome, all right. From there, let's go ahead and pull knee to chest. We've got an 80s playlist today to help us through this workout. Not gonna lie, putting playlists together is tricky because so many people have so many different tastes. So try to go pretty mainstream, but I feel like there's somebody who loves a playlist and then somebody who hates a playlist. What can you do? Beautiful. All right, arms are out in front. I just want you to squeeze shoulder blades, reach forward. Squeeze, reach forward. One more. Beautiful. And heel the hip. How can you not enjoy Whitney? I feel like everybody has to at least appreciate Whitney. Even if you don't love her, you appreciate her. We watched with my niece, who's in Costa Rica, we watched The Bodyguard, and it was also my husband's first time watching it. And the whole time he was like, I didn't know she said that. I didn't know that was her. Right? And we also watched the Whitney documentary. Beautiful. All right. We're gonna take a big lunge forward. So I'm lunging with my right. I'm gonna reach my left hand to the ground. I'm gonna open up my right to the ceiling. Bring it back. Step. Step forward. So we're not going back into the lunge. We're just gonna stay down here. Good, rotate. Step. Beautiful. Awesome. One more with the left leg forward. Good. Drop one knee. Drop the other knee, we're on all fours. We're going to extend opposite arm and leg long for bird dog. Bring it back, switch sides. 
So I'm thinking about going long, not thinking about going super high up. Two more on each side, just warming up the glutes, warming up the low back. Perfect, awesome, all right. So our very first move is that narrow squat. So we're gonna do two narrow squats, two bent over rows, that will equal one repetition. We are going to be doing eight of those, okay? So, grab your weights. Narrow squats means we are one to two inches apart with our feet, okay? So they're inside of our hips. Here we go, drop down, coming back up. Now, now this time, I'm gonna fold in half, row, row. Are you with me? All right, we have seven more of those. So squat, abs are pulled in, squat, fold in half. Where it doesn't have to be completely in half, but in that direction, good. We're only doing eight because we've picked weights that are heavy. If you have only light weights at home, then you're gonna do as many reps as you get through, because you're probably gonna be faster than us, as you can, as it takes us to finish our eight. Nice, we're halfway. Heavy is relative, right? What's heavy for me is not heavy for you. So you have to decide, good, what you need to do. Two more. Beautiful. Last one. Beautiful, okay, set one down, or set both down. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. That should have elevated your heart rate a little bit if you lifted heavy enough. All right, we need one weight. We are going to be pressing that weight straight up in the air as we march, okay? So, hold your weight however you want. We all are using different styles of weights at home. Most people will probably hold in that direction. Mine is kind of awkward to hold that way, so I'm gonna hold it here. Arms are up, all right? I'm gonna bring it down, back up, down, back up for eight per side. If this is too light with one, then use two, okay? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. So a little standing core and some shoulders in that one. All right, keeping your one weight, we're gonna go to a lateral lunge. So I'm gonna start over here on my left. I'm gonna lunge to the right. I'm gonna do a lateral lunge. When I get to the bottom, press out. Bring it back in. Eight of those. <sighs> Sorry when I go <laughs> over <laughs> right in front of the fan, so you might be hearing a little bit of that, but you get it. <sighs> Beautiful. Core pulled in, booty back. Do your best. Last one. Brace your core in order to extend those legs out. Moving to the other end of your mat. Here we go. Two. Five. 
five. We got three more to go. And eight. Beautiful. All right. We're going to take it down to a plank. We're going to, let me just fix my mic. We are going to a forearm plank. You can do this for the knees or your toes. Although, I prefer you do it from your toes. So if you need to make it on an ele elevated surface so that it feels accessible to you, please do that. Otherwise, you're gonna be here and we're gonna tap laterally for eight per side, okay? So, oops, kicked my water over. Three, two, one, let's go. That was eight. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Good, I hope, okay? So we are moving on to a push-up with that press. So, if you remember, I mentioned you might need a secondary weight, but try with your heavier weight. See if you can do it. All right, so side plank with a press-up into the air. So your options are going to be with your bottom leg bent or with your feet stacked, okay? So, what it looks like is, sorry, necklace is painting the mic. It's a row and a press, okay? Row and press. You have the option of that bent knee. You have the option of feet stacked. You also can even have the option of feet staggered if you still feel a little uncomfortable with the feet stacked but don't wanna bend the knee because that feels a little too easy. Here we go, eight of them. Up, your side plank. Press, bring it down. Row, press, good. We gotta switch to the other side. How are we doing? Was that challenging? Have you ever done that move before? Might be new for some of you. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go into that side plank. Row and press. Also, might feel much easier on one side. Definitely feels easier for me with this right side doing the pressing. our weights directly over our hips all right so feet are lined up with hips we're gonna bridge up once we're here I'm gonna march I lift and lift okay I try to keep my hips up the whole time I'm really grounding through the foot that's on the ground here we go we have eight per side squeeze the glutes press up let's go I'm trying to keep our pelvis as stable as possible. Abs are engaged, glutes are engaged. <sighs> Beautiful. I think I have one more on each side. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do one more for good measure. Lower it down. Awesome, all right, those are our six exercises. We gotta go through them again. Grab your water, towel off.
Do you remember, as I drip water down the front of me, what the first exercise was? Do you remember, do you remember? Okay. We are going back to that narrow squat with the rows. Now, here's the deal. If you barely made it to eight last time, stick with eight. If you made it to eight and you're like, there's a little gas left in the tank still, I want you to go to 10, okay? So I want you to aim for 10, unless you already truly picked weights that you're topping out at eight, all right? So this is your chance to challenge yourself for 10. I am going to do 10, just so you guys have someone to pace with, all right? So here we go. And again, remember, if you are way faster than me, it probably means your weights are too light. So invest in some heavier weights, okay? We don't get stronger if we don't lift heavier. And don't worry, you won't get bulky, like not a thing. Okay, narrow squats, one to two inches apart. I'm gonna engage the abs, I'm gonna start shifting my booty back. Drop down, again, then I fold in half. Beautiful. This one is a little tricky because even though we say we're doing 10, eight to 10, I should say, we really have double of everything. Eight for me, two more to go. Should be feeling heavy. Beautiful, all right. We need one, again, unless it was too easy. Grab one for that marching shoulder press. Here we go. Big breath in. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, really pull the leg up. Seven, from the abs. Eight. Nine. Ten, awesome. All right, it's the lateral lunge next with the chest press. So last time, we went to the right first. This time we'll go to the left first. Bring it up, nice deep lunge, press it out. Ten of them. to the other side of my mat. There we go. I want you to get far enough out there for that 
when you push, that glute is firing. That's eight, two more. And 10, all right. We're back down for that plank with the lateral tap. If you did it, I'm having all kinds of mic issues today. You did it and you did on an elevated surface and it felt too easy. Find either a lower surface or try it on the ground. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You get stronger. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice wide step. Nice flat back. Belly button pulled in. One more. And 10. Awesome. All right, side planks. I'm gonna start with the other side first, just because I like to switch it up. But you don't have to copy me. You can do whichever side first you want. Here we go, finding that side plank. Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder and you imagine that you're squeezing an egg in your armpit. Sounds weird, but that's what's gonna get your lats to engage and help you stay out of your neck and shoulders. Here we go, three, two, one, we're up. And we're pressing. body working? I did. I for sure felt my obliques working on that one. Okay. Other side. Bring it up. Let's go. Try not to let your hips sag down. Halfway. And 10. Oh. All right. We're back on our backs. We have both of our weights. We're gonna do that marching bridge. Feet are hip width apart. Most of you imagine your hips wider than they are. So just glance up and check. Here we go, bridging up. Let's go. Try not to wobble side to side. Well, that was 10 for me. Finish it out however you need to. And then move your weights out of the way. We're just gonna do a really quick stretch. So go ahead, cross one foot in front. We're gonna bring the other one knee to chest, getting a little bit of a glute stretch in there. Breathing. So. That wasn't a cardio heavy workout, but if you lift weights heavy enough, 
there's a cardio benefit to it. So that's the thing. When we're down in the rep ranges of, you know, one to five, we take these long breaks in between so that our body has enough time to recover to do the next set. Because those are maximal efforts, right? But as we get into eight, 10 and above, let's switch sides. If we don't take that break, we're able to actually get the cardio benefits from the heavier lifting. Because we are lifting with something we can safely do for eight to 10, 12 reps. And then we're moving on to the next thing. So we're allowing our body to recover because we're not using the same muscles, but we're keeping the heart rate elevated. So it's great for when you want an efficient workout, lift a little heavier, and especially with a variety of different muscles being used, you'll get cardio and strength all in the same workout. Awesome, right? Good, go ahead and come up from there. Shake it out because you are done for today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's strength workout. As always, it has been my absolute pleasure, can't even talk, absolute pleasure to be here with you. And I cannot wait to see you again. Till next time, be well.